everyone i hope you are all doing well i am fine thank you if you are seeing my face for the first time my name is Ivam Tali, and here on the channel we talk mostly about relocation we talk about um legit jobs abroad we talk about studying abroad we talk about traveling abroad and we talk about visas and once in a while i share my travel escapades with you guys so if any of those topics sound exciting to you you want to make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so that every time i shoot a new video you do not miss out without much further ado in today's video we are going to look at lmia exempt jobs for international candidates and what do i mean about lmia so lmia basically stands for labor market impact assessment this is a document that employers in canada who are looking to hire foreign candidates are expected to file and get from the government of Canada. And when an employer files for an LMIA, they can either get a positive response or a negative response. And basically it means that this employer, if you get a positive response, it means that you as the employer has advertised for this particular job. And there is indeed no Canadian candidate, no Canadian um, permanent resident, no Canadian citizen, who is qualified to do the job or is interested to take the job and the reason why the government of canada insists on lmia is to protect the citizens and permanent residents in canada to make sure that they do not take away jobs from them so most jobs in canada will require that the employer file for an lmia however there are some category of jobs that do not require an lmia and this is very important for you especially if you are looking to work in canada as an international candidate or let's say you are already in canada you have a visitor's visa and you are struggling to get a job in canada for which you can work then you want to watch this video to the end because i am going to give you the different classifications and i will show you exactly where to find these jobs for international candidates that do not require an lmia also known as lmia exempt job offers in canada so number one on our list is religious leaders and charity workers so here when we talk about religious leaders we are talking about somebody who is coming to canada to either share or um to teach about their religious beliefs and in that manner we can have somebody like a pastor we could have um um jewish they're called what a rabbi or a monk or just somebody who's coming to share more about their religious beliefs and the organization you're going to be working for must be a religious organization and you must share in their religious beliefs for you to actually be able to teach or to promote these particular beliefs when it comes to charity workers we are basically talking about um, anyone coming to work for an organization that um, is more on the front of relieving poverty or advancing education or any kind of benefit to community. So if you are a charity worker, then you do not require an LMIA with your job offer. Number two group of LMIA exempt job offers is jobs that are involved in intra-company transfer. So this is whereby, let's say, you are working for Pricewaterhouse in Kenya and they transfer you to the Pricewaterhouse office in Vancouver, for example. So in such a situation, you will not require an LMIA. However, you must be going there to work as an executive, as a manager or a specialized knowledge worker, okay? You must fall under those three categories. The number four group of LMIA exempt job offers or jobs for international candidates that do not require LMIAs in Canada is those jobs that fall under an international agreement. So Canada has international agreements with different um, countries around the world. So an example is what we call Kusma. Kusma, this is the Canada, USA, Mexico agreement. So if you are in any one of those countries and this job is any one of those, then you can literally come to Canada and work without needing an um, LMA. And then we also have like the GATS, this is the General Agreement in Trade and Services and so many, so many other agreements that Canada has with different um, countries. Then in those categories, you can come to Canada and work without needing an LMIA. Number four category of jobs for which you can do um, 
or for which there are LMIA exempt job offers or just for international candidates that do not require LMIA is when you are the dependent of a foreign worker who has a work permit for a skilled position and that is not under the international exchange program. So let's say, for example, um, my spouse or my dad or my mom uh, is working in Canada for Pricewaterhouse, for example. That is a skilled job as an accountant or as an auditor. And I am their dependent because I am less than 21 years old or I am their wife or their husband. Then I can get a job in Canada without needing an LMIA because I'm going to apply for an open work permit. And then um, the other category of LMIA except job offers or jobs for foreign workers in Canada that do not require LMIA is those jobs for which um, the employers are participating in a federal, provincial or territorial agreement. So basically here we are talking about provincial nomination programs, the different provincial nomination programs. There are those that require a job offer. So if you get a job offer under any one of those provincial nomination programs, then you do not require an LMIA with your job offer. If let's say you're going to be uh, applying for a job under the Alberta Rural Renewal Stream, for example, and you get a job, you do not require um, an LMIA. Or if let's say you apply for a job in any one of the Atlantic provinces and the employer is participating in the Atlantic Immigration Program. So remember, for example, this particular one, Atlantic Immigration Program, um, has four Atlantic provinces participating. We have Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, and Labrador. We have New Brunswick, and I always forget the fourth one. Help me, guys, in the comment section below. So if, and all these um, um, four Atlantic provinces, they have a list of designated employers who are working under this program. So if you get hired by any one of those designated employers, then you do not require an LMIA with your job offer. Then we also have like the New Brunswick Critical Worker Program that has um, six employers who are in that program. I know, for example, there's um, JD Arwing. Um, we have, okay, there are four employers and I've talked about all of them right here on the channel. Please go and check out the New Brunswick critical worker program if you get a job with any one of those six employers you do not require an lmia and then um we also have the rural and northern immigration pilot program currently there are 11 communities that are participating in ontario in manitoba um in uh, british columbia and i forget the fourth province so all this information is also available right here on the channel but i will leave links in the description box at the bottom of this video you can check out so if you get a job with any of the communities in the rural and northern immigration pilot program then you do not require an lmia with your job offer and then number six category of um, foreign workers that do not require an lmia with their job offers is if you're coming into Canada as a French speaking skilled worker. So if beginning June 15, 2023, Canada has a temporary policy that allows employers in Canada to hire French speakers or bilingual, that is French and English speakers without needing an LMIA, as long as they're going to be working outside of Quebec province. Guys, if you can speak French, please, please, please run, get a job come to Canada, you do not require an LMIA job offer beginning June 15, 2023. And then we also have um, academics. Academics do not require um, LMIA job offers to work in Canada. So if you're coming into Canada as a visiting professor or as a researcher or as a lecturer in an institution of higher education here in Canada, you do not require an LMIA job offer. Um, Last but not least, we have um, employers that fall under what we call the significant investment projects because their projects in Canada are so huge that they bring a lot of investment to Canada to the extent that even if they hired foreign workers, it doesn't negatively affect the labor market in Canada. So classic example is Microsoft in Vancouver. They have a massive, massive, massive operation in Canada and they are allowed to hire 
without needing LMIAs. Another classic example is Lululemon. Lululemon is the world's largest athletic apparel manufacturer. They have more than 30,000 employees around the world. And recently, less than a year ago, they got qualification as a significant investment project in Canada. And therefore, beginning February 28, 2023, Lululemon is allowed to bypass to have to submit an LMIA to hire foreign workers. So guys, those are the, I think, 10 different categories under which you can work in Canada, get a job offer that is exempt from an LMIA. I wish you all the best, guys. So if you're wondering where do you find these types of jobs, so when you go to the Job Bank website, the moment you log in, if you're logging in from outside of Canada, they're going to show you like, hey, looks like you are applying for this job from outside Canada. And when you say yes, it's going to show you a list of employers who are currently hiring from outside of Canada. When you click on this particular link, you are going to find um, at the very bottom, you can select if you want employer, if you want to sort jobbank.gc.ca to only show you jobs for which employers are open to hiring international candidates. And those jobs usually have the round world sign on them. And it means the employer is open to hiring from outside of Canada. You can also check the different websites of the participating rural communities. You can go to the Alberta website. You can go to the Atlantic Immigration Program or just come back here on the channel. We have tons and tons and tons and tons of videos covering all these programs that I have talked about. Guys, all the best with your application and let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions you can be sure i always prioritize answering questions in the comment section because i get to help a lot more people than if i answered you in my inbox thank you for staying to the end and do give this video a thumbs up leave a sweet comment below and let me know what you thought about it i will see you on the next one bye guys